morning students hope you all are fine good today we will start a new chapter that is chapter 5 the nature and the classification of an economy so first we will discuss what is economy so it is said that the broad institutional framework within which economic interaction take place in a country is called an economy economic interaction occurs within an organization such as the firm the government or the economy so in this chapter we will focus on developed economies developing economies capitalist economies socialist economies and last mixed economies so first we will discuss about the classification of economies so economies are divided into two parts first one is degree of economic development and second one is nature of economic system degree of economic development is also divided into two parts developed economies and second developing economies and nature of economic system is divided into three parts first one is capitalistic economies second one is socialistic economies and third one is mixed economies so now first we will discuss what is developed and developing economies un classification of developed and developing country is on the basis of per capita income many economists have traditionally used per capita income as the cut off point to differentiate between developed countries and developing countries so a developed country is defined as the country which has a high real per capita income usa canada australia new zealand japan the western european countries and some of the east european countries are the developed countries of the world today and a developing or an underdeveloped country on the other hand is defined as a country in which real per capita income is low and which has the potentiality of development and a underdeveloped country has the potentiality of development a developing country is the one which has the potential of development so as to increase per capita real income so most of the countries of asia africa and latin america are underdeveloped or developing countries for the more clarification we will study characteristics of developing and developed economies so we will differentiate it and then we will discuss on it now first we will discuss on characteristics of developing economy so first point is low per capita income second low standard of living third existence of widespread poverty fourth large inequalities fifth predominance of agriculture as a source of employment sixth higher contribution of agriculture in national income seventh high growth rate of population eighth existence of large unemployment ninth low rate of saving and capital formation tenth inadequate infrastructure eleventh use of traditional and less efficient techniques of production 12th poor quality of human capital low literacy ratio low level of education inadequate availability of health facilities and last 13th predominance of primary goods in exports now we will discuss characteristics of developed economy here first point is high per capita income second high standard of living third low incidence of poverty fourth less inequalities fifth a large proportion of labor force depends on industrial and service sectors sixth higher contribution of industrial and service sectors in national income seventh 
लो ग्रोथ रेट ऑफ पॉपुलेशन एथ लो लेवल ऑफ अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट नाइन्थ हाई रेट ऑफ सेविंग एंड कैपिटल फॉर्मेशन सब्सटैंशियल इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चरल फैसिलिटीज एलेवेंथ यूज ऑफ मॉडर्न एंड एडवांस टेक्निक्स ऑफ प्रोडक्शन ट्वेल्थ बेटर क्वालिटी ऑफ ह्यूमन कैपिटल हाई लिटरेसी रेशियो हायर एजुकेशन लेवल एडिकुएट एवेबिलिटी ऑफ हेल्थ फैसिलिटीज एंड लास्ट थर्टीन एक्सपोर्ट्स ऑफ लार्जली इंडस्ट्रियल प्रोडक्ट्स एंड सर्विसेस सो स्टूडेंट्स आफ्टर सिंग दिस वीडियो गो थ्रू द चैप्टर अंडरलाइन द इम्पॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स एंड लर्न इट सो थैंक यू एंड टेक केयर